wouldn't it be amazing if you could actually save time in your business? I'm going to show you how you can set up Calendly to automatically create a card inside Trello on a certain board with a due date, a description, and a checklist. And this is going to be super quick. Um, so you can just check the length of this video, and that's how quick you could get this automation set up. So you are going to want three things. You are going to want Zapier. You're going to want Trello, and you're going to want a board for that Trello. So I've just set one up here saying task test board, and I've got to do doing a done. And you're going to want your Calendly account as well. So, of course, with Calendly, there's different calls you may have. So I am going to show you that, how we can filter this as well. So to get started, I am on the paid plan of this. You can do this on the free plan as well. Um, but I'm going to be showing you some things that you can only do on the paid one, but we'll explain when it is only a paid feature. So the thing you want to do is there's two places you can create zaps. You can create it from your dashboard by using this bit here, but I never like this way. Um, I prefer just pressing create a zap at the top left because there is actually two ways to create zaps that look totally different to each other. So we're going to press create zap. Now we're here and it's asking us for the trigger. So what is actually going to initiate this zap? So this is going to be calendar. So it's going to be when a call has been booked. So if we start typing Calendly in and we go to Calendly here, we can see now it's saying choose your app and event. So under event, you want to press invitee created. So that means when an event has been scheduled. So the next step will be, if we press continue, we choose our account. So I already have my account connected, as you can see here. But if you haven't, you would press add account. And I'm just going to quickly show you where you get the information. What's going to happen, it's going to pop up a screen and it's going to ask you for an API key from Calendly. So all you have to do is you go to Calendly, you press integrations at the very top, and then you scroll all the way to the bottom where you see Zapier. You press that, and then you press go to set up. And what you can see underneath here is your unique API key. So you would press the reveal, you would copy that, or press copy to clipboard and not reveal it. And then you'd go back to Zapier, but you want to bring up the pop-up screen that it popped up and you would pop the API key in there, press connect, and then it would bring you to this step here. So then you'd press continue and you need to have a test subject. So if you've just had a call recently booked, you could use that. Um, so for what I've just done is I've just booked a call myself just so that I could have this come up. And then what you would do is press test trigger. So it's going to bring up all the recent bookings that you've had through Calendly. So as we can see here, this is the one that I just did. And if you press invite EA, you can load more people in and press load more. Um, sometimes it can only go back so much. So it's always handy when you're doing anything like this, go book a call with yourself in your Calendly and then come here and do the test data. So let's just say you got to this step. And then you thought, oh, I've not done no test data. Just press here and press load more after you've gone and done the test. You don't have to start again. So what we're going to do here, if you scroll down, you can see this is um, IT Moon. We can see here that it's Laura Burnett who's booked. And that's the email that I use. So we can see everything in here. So I'm just going to press continue. And now is the next step. So if you are on the free plan, you will just go to the next step. Um, but if you are not on the free plan, you may want to add this step in. So what we, I have lots of different calls. So if we have a look, I've got like so many different calls that actually I don't want the same thing to happen for each of these calls. So a power hour, I want something else to happen compared to a new client meeting. Therefore, on the paid plan of Zapier, you have this filter step here. So if I press filter, I can say only continue if. So I'm going to say if the event type contains, and then I'm going to type in new client meeting. So this will only trigger if the event type has new client meeting in it. So this means if someone books a power hour, then they're going to start on this. Yep, something's been created in Calendly. 
It's going to come to this step and it's going to check if it contains new kite meeting, but it doesn't. It says power hour with Laura. So it's not going to continue. So you might be able to see there how you can possibly use that filter step. So if you're not on the paid plan, you won't be able to do this. So whatever that event is, no matter what event it is, it's going to happen for all of them. Radio. So let's press continue. And it tells us, yep, your zap would have continued. So then we can press continue again. And now we're choosing what we want to connect it to. So we want to connect it to Trello. Oh, oh, I can't even type. So again, press Trello. And then it's saying choose your event. So what I want it to do, I want it to create a card. So I'm going to press create card. Press continue. And then here it's asking me for an account. So obviously I've already got mine connected. But if you were to connect a new one, again, you'd press connect a new account. It'd bring up this little pop-up screen, which you may not be able to see. And it basically logs, it asks you to log in. You don't have to get any API codes or anything like that. So then we're going to press continue. And then here is where we're going to put all the information we want. So we're going to choose our board. So I'm just pressing choose board. And I have a lot. So if you haven't got a lot, you may be able to just literally pick one. But I have got a lot. So I'm just going to search test. Oh, it's um, bringing me the wrong things up. Hang on. There we go. So now we can see task test board. So I'm going to click on that. And now it's saying that board. So now I've got to choose a list. So I want it to go on the to-do list. So I'm going to pick to-do. So you can see it's just recognized what lists I've got. Then it needs to give a name, so a name of the card. So I want the name of the card. So what you do here is you click in name and you can either type what you want it to be or you can use things that have been inserted into Calendly. So I'm going to click on Calendly here in insert data and choose invitee name. And then I'm going to do a space a dash as so I'm just typing in at the moment and I'm just going to put in there new client meeting and then click off so as you can see there the name's in easily done and now I'm going to put a description in so I'm going to actually type this out and put a new client meeting was booked for and then you can actually put information into this as well so again I can put invite created I'm going to press show all options and put pick the event start time. Please ensure you follow up and do research accordingly. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to click off. Now the label, so you can pick a label color. So I'm going to pick yellow. And then the card position. So do you want it to go to the top or the bottom? Um, if you do want to select a member, you can put that on. And then the due date. So I want this to be due. Again, I'm going to click on Calendly, show all options. I want it to be the end time. But then I'm going to do space. I'm going to do a plus sign and type in 24 hours. So what that's going to do, it's going to set the due date to 24 hours because I want whoever's going to be responsible for this task to do it within 24 hours. Again, let's click off. Any attachments, URLs, etc. But I also want a checklist. So I'm going to put in here a checklist. So I'm just going to name it follow up. And then you put in your name. So the first task will be send email about what was discussed on call. And if you click off, it adds another line. So now I can add another task in. Follow up one week later. And obviously you can add more and more in. So then we're going to just press continue. And under here, what we want to do is we want to say test and review. So if we press test and review, it's saying it's sending a card to Trello. So it's saying here, a card was sent to Trello about two minutes ago. So now if we go into this Trello board, if it's all worked, so I'm doing this live with you, if it's all worked, the card should be appeared. Ta-da! There it is. So we can see Laura Burnett, new client meeting. That was the title we gave it. If we bring it up, we can see it's got the yellow label in which I've, I've assigned to Laura. We've got the due date, which is set for 24 hours after. A new client meeting was booked for the 17th of 2022, 10 o'clock. 
please ensure you follow up and do research accordingly and the checklist is there with its title. That's it. Happy days, all done. So before we stop, just a little bit of best practice here. You do have to press publish, but before you do, I always like to name it at the top left. So we're going to name this. We can put Calendly. No, I'm not going to I'm going to put new client meeting co. Hello. There we go. Um, click off that and then press publish publish and turn on. So now whenever a new client meeting is booked inside Calendly, it's going to add it to Trello, it's going to create a card and it's going to follow this format for me and I don't have to do that job. It might save me five minutes every time a new client meeting is booked, which over here is going to save me lots of time. So if you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe to our channel. It helps support us even further and make sure to check out everything that we have on offer. We've got our monthly membership on offer where you can get the access to me in things like tech clinics, as well as my business partner, Nikki Williams in business coaching. And then also IT Moon, of course, check us out if you want to book any calls in with us and get some work done. Have a nice day, everybody, and take care.